go to the tools panel of Affinity Photo and select the Mesh Warp tool. As soon as you do that, you've got this Mesh Warp around here. If you haven't got the Mesh Warp tool, go to View and Customize Tools. It will be in there. Now you'll notice here you've got Destination and Source. I'm going to quickly show you Source before I do anything else. So Source, that's not the default. And the reason is, double click there, you can add points. You can manipulate this, you can distort this, move this, but nothing changes, nothing changes. It's very much, well, what's gonna happen? Well, click apply. And then you can see you get some really amazing distortions. So it's useful, but it's one where you're sort of like, I'm not certain what's gonna happen. Yeah, you, after a while, you probably can get a reasonable idea. So undo. Personally, mesh warp tool, I'm gonna use destination. So destination, you've got this around here, this mesh grid, and you can just drag that in. You can drag this in anywhere along this line. As soon as you can see that change just there, you can just drag that in. You can drag that in as well. And you can distort the design all kinds of ways. But what you can also do, because of course this would be very limited if you could just, just do this, because you just go up and down, up and down, fine. But what you can also do is you can double click and you can add this point, mesh point, and you've got these directions. So you can actually also distort it in, sort of make it drag off in angular ways. You can drag this off and it can fold over each other. There's a whole range of different. And also, once you've added these additional points in the center, you actually means that you don't distort over here. So only this part of the image is being distorted. You can manipulate this part without affecting this. Now it's a pity there's no sort of mirror feature. That would be useful. However, there is no mirror feature in the warp. So you could work warp over this side as well at the same time. Now that would be cool. However, you can see what happens. It just creates all kinds of distortions like that. So once you're happy with your distortion, and maybe that's a bit extreme, but click apply and you've got your design there. What you can do, filters, you can, as long as it's selected, you can go to filters, repeat mesh warp. And you can see you can warp it again. Sometimes the result may be even more extreme. So you might not want to do that, but you can see distort all kinds of ways. What you can also do is you can use selections. So decide, you know what, I just want to work on that bus just down there. Don't want to work on the rest of the stuff. Really just want to distort that. Well, you can, you can go to the mesh warp tool. Now you can see the mesh warp around the entire thing. However, if you distort it, you'll notice what happens. It just distorts just that, just the bus. That's in obviously Oxford Street in London. You just distort the bus, so you can just move it. So if you want the bus to be slightly ajar, now, of course, you create multiple selections. You can create different selections than just this. So you can create some really interesting effects just by using the freehand selection or maybe use the select menu to select certain areas and distort those. And you can do exactly the same as before. You can add some additional points and just drag that around, add some additional points there and distort it, maybe stretch it just slightly the bus. So you might want it slightly moved over. You can move it, squeeze it that way and so on and so on. Click apply. However, also what you can do you can also again use that selection or maybe a different one. Let's just elliptical marquee tool. Use that instead. Select that area. Control C, Control V. So you get a layer. So you've got a layer. Remove the selection. I don't want that selection now. You can move it around, of course. You position it there. But what you can also do, mesh warp tool. Mesh warp tool. And you can distort that as well. So you can create all kinds of maybe a heart design, whatever. You can create all kinds of unique shapes. And again, exactly the same as before. You can add your different points there as well, and click apply. And again, with it selected, that's the key thing, you can also use filter and repeat mesh as well. Also what you need, you've got type. So type, just put some type there. Now this will be turned as soon as you do it. So you've got word type there, go to the mesh warp tool, select that, and you can distort that. Do exactly the same as before. Double click, add some points, and you can then warp it and distort it like that. Also, you can use the source option as well. That creates some very interesting designs. Click apply. And you can do the same also with all of these shapes as well. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.